Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. Then it's from here in New York. You're welcome to visit my warehouse. So today I'd like to ask you a question. Would you really buy a wholesale coach handbag for a dollar? Now, I'm not selling any wholesale coach handbags for a dollar, but the question is to get you thinking. If you saw an offer now, and it, the offer seemed too good to be true, would you actually take advantage of it, or would you assume that it is too good to be true and not take advantage of the offer? Now, the reason why I mention this too is because when people sell wholesale merchandise, whether you're selling it as a wholesaler or you're selling it as a retailer, you want to be careful not to put a price on your merchandise that is too low. Because if the price is too low, people will assume that there's an issue with the merchandise. People might assume that the merchandise is defective. People might assume that the merchandise is not authentic. They might assume that there's an irregularity with the merchandise. And people just might be suspicious. So what I would recommend you is whenever you sell your merchandise, you do want to have a good price. If you can, you want to have a price that's below the regular retail price. Or if you're selling a wholesale merchandise, such as I do, you want to price your merchandise at below the regular wholesale price. This we have a competitive advantage based on the price, but you don't want to sell your merchandise for too low of a wholesale price. Otherwise, customers will assume that there's something wrong with the merchandise. And the same thing happens when you're selling at the retail level. If your prices are too low, people are going to question, why is your merchandise being sold at such a low price? I want to give you a, a practical example that I discovered with my own business. I once purchased a clothes ad inventory of women's leather wallets. They're really nice leather wallets, really good quality. They were not branded, so they didn't have a brand name on them. So I can, you know, I, I was able to buy them for a very low price and you know, I had the opportunity to sell them for a very lo low price as well. At one point, I sent out an email offering these genuine women's high quality leather wallets for 99 cents each. I thought I would be flooded with a response. I thought so many people would come to the warehouse looking for those wallets and you know what happened? No one responded to the email. Now, I sent out an email again later on, and this time people started responding to the email, but it still wasn't as many people as I thought would have responded. And the reason is because people wondered, hey, if these wallets are so good, why are you selling them for such a low price? And the interesting thing is that I sold just as many wallets at my regular wholesale price of $3 each than I sold at the discounted wholesale price of 99 cents each. So what that should tell you is that people are not going to make their decisions just based on price. And if the price is too low, people are going to be reluctant to buy those items. Now, it's one thing if they actually come to your warehouse or your store. Let's say they come inside and they see the item. And now you should tell them you know, the price of the item. Since they're already there in person, they're looking at the item, they might decide to buy that item because they can see the quality. They can see that it's genuine. They can see it's authentic. They can see how nice the item is. But if you're simply sending out an email or you're calling people or you're publicizing it on a website and you're publicizing it based on a low price, then it's going to be hard for people to get excited about the item. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. You're welcome to visit my warehouse the next time you are in New York. My website is closeoutexplosion.com. Thank you and have a great day.